Hello guys, um, for your information, we have started a separate video series uh, about Webpacker integrations where we'll be discussing topics like how to get started with Zapier, how to use our WordPress plugin or how to connect Webpacker to webinar tools. Uh, so if you are uh, interested in automating your sales processes, uh, check it out. But in this vlog, I'd like to discuss four of my favorite Woodpecker integrations via Zapier. Let's do it! The first integration is Woodpecker plus Google Sheets. Uh, Google Sheets is a really popular tool, that's why this integration is quite common, but it's very simple and it's very useful. So check it out, we are on a Zapier's web page and if we scroll down a bit, we'll be able to see what triggers and actions we have on both sides. So today I want to show you uh, my favorite and really simple integration is when we add a new spreadsheet row in uh, spreadsheet. On Woodpecker's side, we create an update prospect in campaign. So by adding a new spreadsheet, you add a new prospects to already existing campaign, for example, or to the global database. And you can automatically send emails to those people. Simple? Yeah, let's move on. So the next integration is Woodpecker plus Pydrive integrations. So um, I'm not promoting Pydrive, but I really love this CRM. But also instead of Pydrive, uh, there are such similar integrations with, um, for example, HubSpot or Zoha CRM or Salesforce. Uh, let's check Pydrive in this case. So again, if we scroll down, uh, we'll be able to check uh, all the triggers and actions on both sides. And the first one that I want to show you is uh, the trigger on the Packer side and the prospect is interested. On Pipedrive side, I would, uh, I would choose create a deal. So once we tag prospect as interested and, uh, in Woodpecker, we automatically add uh, them into, uh, into the funnel in Pipedrive. So that's really great, um, great integration uh, that worked for me. Another integration that I want to show you is as a trigger, we pick uh, Pipedrive and we can pick a, a new deal or we can pick a deal matching filter. So deal matching filter, basically you create a filter in the Pipedrive uh, depending on criteria you choose. And then you add people uh, that, uh, that, that, that uh, match those criteria to Woodpecker. So, or you can, uh, for example, pick a new deal and you can add this person to, uh, to Woodpecker. So let's scroll down a bit. Uh, so as, for, for those of you that are using Pipedrive, uh, Pipedrive has the funnel and you have different stages. Uh, what I really love to do is simply to move people into different stages. And for example, if you move the prospect to the next stage and you want to trigger some new emails, some new campaigns to them, you can pick deal matching filter and add those prospects automatically to, uh, to Pipedrive. Okay, I hope it's useful. The next one and the last one is Calendly. Uh, so again, it's quite a popular tool. If you scroll down, again, we'll, uh, we'll be able to see triggers and actions. And as a trigger, we can pick NVT created. And as an action, we can pick stop follow-ups. So you can add Calendly links uh, to your campaigns uh, in Woodpecker. And once somebody uh, schedule a meeting with you, Woodpecker stops uh, follow-ups automatically. So basically, uh, those are my favorite and also quite popular zaps, very easy. I encourage you to test it out. I, as far as I know, Woodpecker, um, sorry, um, Zapier has a, uh, freemium version. Also, there is uh, a trial at Woodpecker. You can test it out and check if it works for you. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Wish you a great day. Bye-bye.